So there's one more case to look at, which is what you do if you just have an even power of tan, with no secant. Okay. How do you solve this one? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to exploit this identity here, right? Tan squared, we can write as secant squared minus 1. So that means that tan to the 6th, we can write as secant squared minus 1. That's tan squared. To get to the 6th power, we get a qubit. Okay. All right, so let's see. So that's going to be secant to the sixth power minus uh, three times secant to the fourth power plus three secant squared minus one, just using binomial theorem. Okay. So that one we know how to do. That one we know how to do. Um, this one, it's kind of an odd thing, but we're going to reverse course and we're going to say, hey, um, secant to the 4, I want to write that as secant squared times secant squared. Um, I'm going to write this as 3 secant squared is 1 plus tan squared. times secant squared, and then we have 3 secant squared minus 1. And we'll do the same game here. This is going to be 1 plus tan squared squared. That gives me secant to the fourth, multiplying by secant squared, gets me up to secant to the sixth. Okay, that's a bit of a mouthful, but now what we can do is we can say, hey, let's let, if I let u equal to tan x, okay, in these first two, and we kind of want to split things up, right? So what we want to do is we want to write this as, okay, so let me finish my thought here du will be secant squared x times dx. That substitution will apply here and here. Um, if you want, it applies there. It's kind of a boring case, but it, it doesn't fit the last one. So what we can do is we can split it up into two pieces. We can say, all right, so what we have is, um, and let's multiply things out while we go. From this first term, I have 1 plus 2 tan squared x plus tan to the fourth x minus 3. So actually 1, yeah, well, you know, let's put it all in for now. Minus 3, minus 3 tan squared x times secant squared x times dx, and then we're just going to add in the integral of 3 secant squared x minus 1 times dx. Okay. So on that first integral, we're going to do the u substitution. On the second integral, we know what to do, so we just do it. Okay. So we get this. The integral of tan to the sixth power. Okay, it's going to be from here. So let's see, so 1 minus 3. I have minus 2, 2 minus 3, minus u squared, plus u to the 4 times du, right? u is equal to 10, du is secant squared x dx. And then we just have plus 3 tan x minus x plus our constant. So we have minus 2u 
minus one third u cubed plus one over five u to the five plus three tan x minus x plus c. And well, we don't like mixing u's and x's, so let's get back in that u is equal to tan x. Um, oh, and I guess, right, clean that up if we want, right? 3 minus 2 gives me just 1 tan x, so we can group those together. So we have um, tan x minus 1 third tan cubed x. Probably could have combined that before, but, you know, simplify sooner, simplify later. Either way, you get to the answer. 1 fifth tan to the fifth. That 3 we already combined with the minus 2 tan x to just get the tan x. We have the minus x. We have the plus c. And we're done.